If you play in a large acoustic space, such as a church, is that a problem for you regarding the articulation? I did a few experiments to show this is indeed the case. These experiments show that the greater the distance between you and the listener, the clearer you must articulate. Even better is to reduce the pace too and play slower. These two ways of playing a very clear articulation and a rate that is not too fast are the secrets of a good performance in an acoustic space. I've made this recording in the Walfrieders Church in Baden in the Netherlands. This church has a reverberation time of about five seconds. In this film I'll tell you first what I will do. I'm at a distance of 10 meters or 33 feet from the microphone and I read a few sentences from the article about articulation from New Grove. Don't worry if you don't immediately understand this text. I read it then twice, much slower and then with more slowly and with exaggerated articulation. I assume that you will then understand this text. After that I play a Bach Polonaise from the notebook for Anna Magdalena Bach. First rapidly and then more slowly. Then I do the same at a distance of 6 meters or 20 feet and at a distance of 2 meters or 6.5 feet.
generally requires energetic articulation as well as a relatively slow tempo. Now I'm going to play a little piece composed by Bach. It is a polonaise in F major from the notebook for Anna Magdalena Bach. First, I play it at a distance of 10 meters or 33 feet from the microphone with a normal articulation and at a normal rate.
at a distance of 6 meters or 20 feet from the microphone. I'm going to read the same text again. Resources of articulation differ with the performing medium and acoustical surroundings. To achieve clarity in a hall with abundant reverberation generally requires energetic articulation as well as a relatively slow tempo. Now I'm going to play the same piece by Bach from the distance of 6 meters or 20 feet. Suppose it is still not quite clear what exactly I do with the articulation. Therefore, I came closer to the microphone again. Here, there is only two meters or six and a half feet of space between me and the microphone. Listen, you can now follow the articulation better.
What can we learn from all this? First, we have to adapt our tempo in a big church or room with lots of reverb. Second, we must articulate very exaggerated. Third, we need to make the gaps between the notes longer than we feel them. And fourth, we need to make the rhythmic and metrical accents very clearly. If you make music, it's actually exactly the same as when speaking. In short, we must learn to focus on the listeners and not just to play for ourselves, as we are used to at home.